Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Thanks, Andrea. Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2017 here live in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm Michael Artsis. Andrea, great job over there. I want to see more of the sands. You can see how it's more of a traditional kind of convention. They have different kinds of booths, a lot of fun. It's awesome. We are your official live media partner of CES. We're proud of being an official media partner here at CES. At Be Terrific TV on all social media, connect at BeTerrific.com. Send us your name and email if you want to join our Slack chat and keep the positive feedback coming. We love you guys, we're having a lot of fun here. This is a very special interview. We've been talking about this for two days already and uh, these guys made a huge announcement too. We're going to get their entire story. We met them at E3 for the first time but we've known about their products for a while and uh, I've got Vincent here from Razor, and uh, thanks Vincent for joining us. Of course. You guys uh, started out, I think, making gaming accessories, so I say gaming accessories, really peripherals, yep. like headsets, controllers, keyboards, yep. and those are all very important. Uh, you guys do a wonderful job with that, and then you moved into building better machines, better computers, and I, what I love about your machines is that they're portable, they're light, and they perform really well. A lot of times with gaming laptops, they're bulky, they're heavy, and even still, they don't have the right hardware to really game on, yeah. um, and you overheat them. And then you go into the desktops, and you either really have to build your own most times, or you have to buy something that makes a lot of sacrifices. And I think that you guys come in where you really offer a good price point, great features, and you don't have to make any of those sacrifices. And I think you guys do a great job of that. So tell me the Razer story. How'd the company start and how'd you guys get your roots and then decide to go into making gaming machines that can also be used for everything else? Yeah, I mean, you know, Razer, we are for gamers by gamers, right? We've always, uh, we pride ourselves on providing the best quality, the best experience on all of our products. And like you said, uh, we, we start our roots in uh, gaming peripherals, mice, headsets, keyboards, and we kind of made our way throughout the years to expanding that experience to other proc lines outside of just peripherals, which going to notebooks, right? So we have the Razer Blade, which is our flagship notebook that actually you guys see right here. So this is all black. It, it yeah. may look like plastic on camera, but it's actually an aluminum finish, right. all black, and it's got a touch screen. It's a beautiful display and a beautiful machine. I love this thing. I think it would look really nice right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, a, it's definitely beautiful. And that's what we pride ourselves on, right? We want to build the best quality systems, best looking, and also very form factor. Like, like you mentioned, like we build uh, premium products, especially like the Razer Blade, uh, featuring full CNC aluminum uh, unibody chassis, right? And all within this very form factor design. It's only just like, just about four pounds, very portable, and packs a lot of power too. So this has the latest NVIDIA graphics card, like the GTX 1060, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and touchscreen uh, screens as well. You know, so we, we really pack this with a lot of power, but still maintain that portability aspect. And as you mentioned, we don't sacrifice anything uh, while doing so. Uh, this looks like a, a, a computer a certain fruit company would make. You don't see that in PCs <laughs> at all. Yeah. And this runs with this runs Windows 10. It's a PC. It's an awesome machine. I've yeah. played with it. I've seen it. I quite frankly, I want one. Um, and this happens to be an i7, a Core i7 from Intel. Right. Um, you guys just have a lot of great stuff. Before we go any further, I mean, you know, I got to give Paul Dixon a little love in our Slack chat. He's one of our wonderful terrifics. We're international. They watch all over the world. France. Yeah. They watch in in uh, in Finland with oh, Jenny, and awesome. of course in the UK. I mean, we got millions of Terrifics all over the world. It's wonderful. <laughs> and uh, they all want to know about the latest, greatest product you announced yesterday. And I'm only wow. sad to say you didn't announce it here for an exclusive, like right before CES. But regardless, <laughs> you guys did announce it, yes. and that is Project Valerie. And That's I want to know all about it, and it's a three-screen display, really. It is. Yes, that is our biggest announcement at the show. Uh, as you mentioned, Project Valerie, and uh, what is it? It's the world's first automated triple display notebook. Um, and it really has gotten a lot of positive reception since our announcement. We've gotten such great feedback on it. And what's so unique about it is we wanted to bring that multi-monitor desktop viewing experience into a more portable chassis, right? And you know, we ourselves at Razer, we identify with all of these enthusiast gamers, these desktop DIY power users, right? All, all of us use multi-monitor displays at our, our work, our home, 
for either multitasking purposes or for gaming, right? Immersive surround view gaming. And that's kind of where Project Bowery kind of uh, came about was that uh, we had this powerful notebook now, the Blade Pro actually, so the 17 inch brother of this guy that features uh, the GTX 1080, right? Uh, pretty much the desktop class gaming notebook. And with that chassis, we, were, we wanted to use that and expand that view. And so we actually incorporated and built a concept project, which is a uh, triple monitor notebook that's fully integrated and also fu fully automated. I think what you guys realized was console gaming was awesome because you could take your console to your buddy's house. You could go play a tournament with a console. Bring a desktop around. Yeah. That's so easy, all right? Yeah. We know from experience. And so you guys looked at it and said, let's do better with laptops, yeah. what's out there. Let's basically make your laptop a gaming console so you could just take it wherever you want. And at E3 you introduced, or right before E3 you introduced uh, the, the mobile graphics card. Now, there have been other companies that have done this right before that, maybe six months before that, but nobody made it as small and as compact or as really as, as perfect as you guys did. Yeah. Um, it really just integrates well, but it not only could work for Razer, it could work for other uh, other, if you have a different laptop, you could use it with that potentially, whereas other manufacturers only make it for their product. Obviously you want it to work with Razer, but I like that it's, it's able to work with other products. And you also have big fans in it for cooling, which yeah. is nice. So now you add in a, you're calling it I guess a mobile uh, display, somewhat mobile, more <laughs> mobile, uh, three monitor display. Yeah. So is it three, mo I haven't seen it yet, is yeah. it three monitors together in one frame? Yes, so, well actually, it's a, it's all fully integrated into the laptop itself. We didn't want to make it like an accessory or add on to the laptop, it's completely built in. Are you serious? Yes, it's a complete. So what happens, I, I, I would take it like this basically, <laughs> I'd open the lid and then two other screens fold out? Well, it would work so, in somewhat of that fashion, but you can still, of course, like, you, uh, we'll take this as an example, you can still use it as a single display notebook, right? Okay. But it's an automated process. So when the user wants to have that multi-monitor viewing experience, either by a physical button or through our software, they would enable the extended monitors and the laptop itself would automatically deploy. Come it's, on. No, it's it's really cool. And Are it's you housed, for real? And it's housed within right behind this monitor. So this monitor will always be your main display. Right. And the two uh, extended monitors would come out and actually adjust itself to go flush with the laptop. But and have that the viewing. quality has to suffer, no? Oh no, no, the, the three displays are all 4K displays. So you have a total of 12K total surround view. Wow, and it kind of wraps visuals. around you, it immerses you? Yes. And this is OLED? LED, not OLED. LED, and yeah. when's it available? Well, it's all concept right now, so we're, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a concept project right now, so, what, and our goal at the show is to get that feedback from, you know, you guys, your fans, your community. Uh, we want to see what people uh, want in Project Valerie or the interest and gauge that interest to see that will drive that product development for Okay, so, so Paul Dixon put a picture up of it in our <laughs> Slack chat. It's yeah. pretty amazing. I got to say, our own Adam Holtz is going to have to have one of these. And I'd love to see him <laughs> on a plane with it because we kid him all the oh, time. Yeah. He has one of these what we call mobile desktops. It's a gaming laptop, but it couldn't be any bigger. <laughs> it takes up two tray tables. <laughs> he winds up having to buy two seats. Could you imagine this on the plane? Oh, we have, we, you could take that middle seat and just expand those two screens to the left and right side, uh, or take it to a Starbucks even, if you want to like really just get in everyone's personal space if you want to. So, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, it's really unbelievable. So, it's really a concept. You don't have any idea. You're going to get feedback yeah. on it. You're going to refine it a little. Are we talking like maybe this time next year you'll be ready to announce a finished product? I mean, if we've gotten, uh, like I mentioned, we've gotten really positive feedback on that. And I mean, hopefully we could bring it uh, to the masses sooner, but at this time, we're just really trying to gauge that interest, gauge the... Uh, it it the seems like there's no interest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely no interest. No, yeah, it, it's really, it's gotten, um, like, we're, we're, we're really uh, happy about... Yeah, you, you've gotten a ton interest. of uh, buzz and everybody's excited about it. Yeah. Um, obviously no idea on price point because it's still a concept. Yeah. But I, I think it's actually pretty cool, and I think it has, you know, the one thing about your laptops is really crazy, is as much as they're for gaming, they're really for everything, including business. Yeah. I find the one problem with PCs is that the laptops are never really the specs you need. They're never, the, right. whether it's video editing, or if somebody who really works, uh, you know, and digs in with Photoshop or PowerPoint or whatever, or wants to game, 
other than your laptops, there's nobody really out there. They have specs, but they don't necessarily perform. And I think right. it's a lot of overheating issues. You guys put it in a small package and you do it well. I mean, what's the difference? Because you guys really could game any desktop gaming on these yeah. laptops, uh, which is amazing. So what's the difference? It's, it's you know, Intel i, I7 core processor mm -hmm. is going to be the same processor in your machine, in, in some right. other manufacturer's machine, in some other manufacturer's machine. I mean, the, the graphics card, if it's the same graphics card, it's going to be the same in that machine, in that machine, in that machine. Yeah. Is it really the design of the body and, and, and the cooling? What is it? So, you know, and, and speaking for Project Valerie, right, yeah. and what we're trying to, what we're trying to push is, is that triple monitor uh, experience. And so, yeah, we get a lot of questions on, yeah, what are we using to drive this, right? So, GTX 1080 is the, it, since it's utilizing the Blade Pro chassis as, as of this moment, um, that's the most powerful GPU you can fit in a notebook. But being that it's a concept, uh, you know, dep depending on when this product becomes available, it could change, right? It, it could be if it comes out next year or the year after, and you have a next generation GPU, like, I don't know, 11 series uh, graphics card from NVIDIA, or like the next eighth generation Intel Core 7 processor, uh, whatever it, that's going to be, we want to put the best of the best in that system. And also, regarding heat, our thermal engineers are incredibly talented. Like, they managed to pack uh, uh, really advanced thermal solutions in our notebooks. That's how we're able to uh, push the limits of what you're capable of doing in such a form factor system. And, and am I wrong, is there any game that you could play on a desktop that you can't play on this? Honestly, the GPUs, with how far they've come, that that gap between desktop gaming and like mobile gaming, it's really, it's almost pretty much I don't the need same. A, I don't need a tower that's this tall, you know, four yeah. feet tall at this point, exactly. right? I mean, you are able to game, like play games like Battlefield 1 or, you know, Titanfall 2 at its max settings on just even this system by itself, uh, let alone like if you go up to our 17 inch Blade Pro, and even Project Valerie, right? Uh, we actually have even working demos at the show where we have Battlefield 1 working across all three displays all in 4K, ultra settings, 60 hertz, G-Sync enabled. It's an amazing experience. CJ said this thing is crazy. He wants one and he'll take one of these as well. <laughs> um, yeah. Talk about the, some of the uh, peripherals. Talk about your sure. headsets. What's new with headsets and controllers and uh, keyboards? Well, I mean, we, we made a various amount of announcements this year. So, I mean, at, at CES, we didn't have any big announcements in terms of peripheral stuff. Well, and we, and we saw a lot at E3, but yeah. since some of the viewers might have missed that coverage, and they can go into our archives on beterrific.com and our sure. YouTube page, youtube.com slash TV. But, I mean, you want to run them through a couple of uh, things that's, yeah. that, are, that are popular right now? Yeah, like we have uh, the, the Ornata. It's mm -hmm. like our mecha membrane keyboard. That It's honestly a really pretty unique experience, right? You have that uh, hybrid between a mechanical key switch and a membrane switch, right? Uh, we also have the uh, Kraken Pro, the new version two of it, um, which is a, a, new, a really comfortable design, new surround, uh, surround sound experience on those he uh, headsets. So you know, just, uh, just to name a few of our recently announced uh, peripherals. Awesome, I want to thank you so much for your time. I, I love sure. all your peripherals, your mice are amazing as well. Could I just get you to boot up a game? Do you have anything on here as we go to commercial? Unfortunately, I don't have a game okay. on this guy here. Well, I, you I can, you can see it's a beautiful okay. machine. Yes. And uh, it's pretty awesome, keyboard lights up. And uh, you know, you guys do a great job. Thanks for coming on. Oh, I hope no, to have course. you on again soon. And Anytime. congratulations on Project Valerie. Thank I'd like you. to hear more about it. We'll yeah. see you, uh, if not before, we'll see you at E3. Sounds but good. But congratulations at all the buzz you've created here at <laughs> CES. And again, hopefully we'll have you on again soon. All right. We'll be back with a lot more live here on your live continuing coverage of CES 2017. We're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center, but we're going to go now to the Sands Expo, which is a huge part of CES 2017. Andrea, take it away. Be terrific, official coverage of CES 2017.